Find the surface area of revolution obtained by rotating the given curve about the given axis, which the equation is equal to y is equal to square root of x plus 1, and it will spin around the x-axis between the value of x is equal to 0, 3. So we are trying to find its surface area. To do that, let's just graph this. The y is equal to square root of x plus 1 looks like this. When this is 1, it looks like this. Okay, This is 0 to 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. And it spins around the x-axis, okay? So I will mirror image this across the x-axis from 0 to 3. Okay. So when this thing spins around the x-axis, right, it will create a giant circular base and a circular thing on the top as well. Okay, so it will make a helmet, okay, that has no holes here. So it's just like the solid thing. And we want to solve its surface area, like right here. So to do that, I will draw a demo for you. Um, okay, so we got this orange pen. So if we call this side, right, ds, this length. And this is also ds. So what I have done is drawn a, a rubber band, okay? A, th a thin rubber band. Since I'm a terrible artist, I will draw another more perfect rubber band. Eh, good enough, I guess. Okay, and this is a rubber band. If I cut it in half and straighten it up, I get this. Not exactly, but yes, I get this. And this thickness is the S, which is this right here. And this is a circumference we'll, we will find. And to do that, we need to know its radius. What's the radius? This is the radius, but do you know what this is? Y, so, but do you know also what Y is? It is equal to square root of X plus one. So the original formula to find the circumference is 2 pi r, but r is y, and y is square root of x plus 1. So 2 pi square root of x plus 1. And when I multiply them together, we just have found the surface area of this rubber band. How is that useful? That's useful because if we have infinitely many amount of this rubber band with thin ds, you know, this rubber band, if I have infinitely many of them, so maybe I have another rubber band right here, right? And then another right here. And you guys can already see the point, okay? And what is that? Infinitely many amount of rubber bands. That is the integral from the interval from zero to three, okay? Zero to three. And I just put this in when I multiply them together. But you guys know that the two pi right here is a, a constant, right? So it can come up from here. Then I still have the x plus one times ds. The way we find the value of ds is, okay, so if we call this ds, which means this is going to be dy and this is dx. So ds, dy, dx which also means that ds squared is equal to dx squared plus dy squared, which also means that ds is equal to square root of dx squared plus dy squared. Okay, so I will just substitute it in there. And this is that, so. Another cool thing I'll show you guys, okay, is I will divide a dx on the both side through here. So I'll divide dx, dx, which means since I divided by dx, I have to multiply dx. So as if nothing ever happened, okay? So this whole thing can be rewritten as one plus dy over dx 
squared times dx, okay? And now let's find the value of dy over dx. That's just differentiating that. Very simple. Which, if we do, I will switch colors now, okay? Now if I differentiate this, I get dy over dx is equal to 1 over 2 times square root of x plus 1. But I'm going to square that, right? So let's already do that. So this is equal to 1 over 4 times x plus 1. Okay, looks like we are running out of room. So let's erase something. This one, this one, this one. Okay, so we got down to here and now let's substitute this into here. If I do, I get 2 pi times the integral interval of 0 to 3 of square root of x plus 1 times square root of 1 plus 1 over 4 times x plus 1. And then I have the times dx. So times dx. And now, from here, what do I do? What do I do? Well, that is very simple, okay? I just multiply this by this and this. Just by saying that, it's really confusing, so I will show it in visual. Okay, so that is just square root of x plus 1 times 1 plus 1 over 4 times x plus 1. Okay, so simple. And times dx. And now let's work in the inside of this. Okay, x stays the same, but... No, wait, no, x plus 1, because x plus 1 times 1 is just x plus 1. But x plus 1 times 1 over 4 times x plus 1, okay? x plus 1 and the x plus 1 cancels out, leaving only plus 1 over 4, like this, okay? Let's again work on the inside, just for one more step. Okay. Okay, very simple. And now from right here, we can use the u substitution rule, right? u is equal to x plus 4 over, I mean 5 over 4, excuse me, and du is going to be just dx. So I will leave you guys up to this point where you guys can solve it on your own. So whatever you will get is the surface area of this from the point zero to three. Bye.